Yesterday I tweeted that I'm going to participate in my first Game Jam Summer 2019 on HI.O. I haven't checked anything out yet. This went live a couple of hours ago, I think two or three. So let's see the theme. Pride. Wasn't that last month? Okay, so we got 16 days. I think that should be enough. Feel free to join in here. I will leave a link in the description. Okay, so I'll just create a new project, a new 3D project. I named it and everything. Okay, so we got rainbow, obviously. So I'll write that down on a paper. Unicorn, definitely. Maybe if we go pride associations. Yeah, sure, that's how you type it. I always find Reddit to be useful. Okay, so what kind of a game will it be? I was thinking of a puzzle or a adventure game. Maybe that's cool. I always like those kind of games, so... I guess that's taking inspiration from a game you already tried. Or you already love. Okay, so I think I have some kind of an idea planned. Maybe we can make like bisons fight for pride and kind of kill lions. Because usually it's the other way around. The lions kill bisons and now the bisons are fighting pride. But that'd be too much work, I think. So I don't think that's gonna happen. This is kind of the lion, right? So the Lannisters are lions. Okay, so we can have a dwarf character that's fighting for pride. That's too much Game of Thrones. -y. I don't want to do that. But that's the second idea. So we have a few ide ideas and that's something. Oh, should I even see this? Fill out the sign up form sometime before you start. Let's do that. It share that username. I don't know. Okay, so it seems like it's single sapling. Sign up as an individual, teammates, email. Oh, I can give you my email. Email updates. If you would like, sure, why not? I don't know it. What? I'm still thinking of it. Oh, I have a second idea. Maybe. You can have different colored characters. Those are really easy to make. We can just make cubes and then just give them different materials. Then they have to meet. So they create a rainbow, which is kind of the pride symbol and whatnot. So we will create a puzzle game, actually. And my answer would be puzzle. What art programs am I using? I'm using Blender. I'm using... There's no Krita. Oh, there is. Okay. So I'll probably use that in some way. Describer game making experience Benny. What engines or languages are you comfortable with? Do you have an artistic design, writing, or sound background? Your answer. I know C sharp. And yes. Do with that whatever you want. My goals. Finish. Good. Okay, so I want to finish the game and I want to make it good. Code of Conduct. Do I really have to read this? Okay, please view the Code of Conduct. Uh, yeah, I have read it. Sure, why not? There we go. That's uh, done. Now we can move on. This actually kind of helped. I think I got the idea for my game. The way I started organizing my projects is using Trello. And it's this awesome, amazing organizing tool. And it's free. So I'll just create a new board and this one will be for my first game jam, summer 2019. Let's make it private and uh, can I pick another color? Yes, this one, the pride color. There it is. And now you can create polls, maybe like uh, ideas and then uh, mechanics. Then we have work in progress and we have finished. That's pretty cool. So the idea I had was different, multiple players, multiple characters, not but one player. 
that are all on one level. And then I want to have some puzzles. For the mechanics, I obviously need a character controller, a camera controller, progress controller. I guess I'll create an, another list for art. So I, I think I'll need some kind of character art. I'm not sure for that. I'll definitely need some level art, but not yet. Probably do that last. Uh, we'll need post processing. And we'll need general game 2D art, like logos and stuff. So I think I first want to create the character controller. Okay, so we'll need some kind of a plane to move on, obviously. Then I'll need some kind of a character. Obviously the player will need some kind of materials, so I'll just create a folder for material. Or materials. I don't know how many players I should have, so I just google rainbow colors and... There's red, there's orange, there's yellow, green, and blue. And then there's like purple, so that's six. So there's seven colors in the rainbow. So I guess we'll need to have seven players. There's really not a choice here. Maybe I can lower it down if I see that it's a bit too much. Okay, so I got all the seven characters down. Okay, so this works, but now I need to tell it which character to move. For that, I'll create some kind of a game controller. That seems pretty, pretty good. I think the easiest way of getting the character variables is using tags, so just add 7 new tags. Now in the start method I can go characters, 0 is equal to game object dot find game object with tag, red, Okay, so now we can assign the characters, now we just need to tell it which one to use. Okay, so at this point I can select any character I want and move that, move only that character. At this point, I can move the character controller to finished. Now I just need a camera controller. So I want the camera to be fixed on the player that is selected. So I'll just try again with this position. Okay, so now we can swap and the camera will follow the selected character. So I can check off the camera controller to finished.